morning. This is a somewhat quick video about this precision stud sensors Pro Finder 7000 plus. I think that's the model number. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have the paperwork in front of me and uh, yeah, ProFinder 7000 Plus. Uh, on the bottom of this thing, there's no model number or anything, and it says visit www.precisionstudsensors.com. This website doesn't work. I'm going to quickly run through. Uh, how you use this and then I'll show you in some poorly done video of actually using it. Uh, as you can see it has a spirit level, it has a sensor here for uh, electrical wiring, high voltage wiring, and then it has a bunch of LEDs that correspond to where a stud is in the wall. You push this over and open it up and this is where you put the batteries in. It's also you can put a a pencil in here but I recommend a longer pencil because uh, the short ones if you put them in there they, they'll, they'll go in too far comes with three three pencils. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to I can tell you about it at the bench. So let's go look at the really bad video. I saw one of these when I was visiting my brother-in-law, and he was using a similar one to find some studs, and I thought it would be. Uh, much better than the one that I've been using. So let me uh, get set up. I'll show you the one I've been using and then I'll show you how this one works. Okay, let's see if we can do this without uh, with only one hand. Uh, this is my old stunt sensor. Uh, it's pretty nifty. It's got a laser in it and levels and all sorts of things. It can find electrical lines under behind the the wall and whatever but it it's kind of annoying because it requires calibration that means when you turn it on you have to hold it until it beeps and then you slowly move it and when it gets to the edge of a stud it does that and so you're on one edge of the stud and then you have to go and find the other edge so the stud would be right here the problem with this is that like I said, it needs to be calibrated, and it's not the most comfortable thing to, uh, to hold. And this one, the way it works is you just put it, you just turn it on and put it on the wall. And there's no calibration, and it just shows you right exactly where the stud is, but it also you can see that yellow line is telling me that there's electrical right there and so that's also useful information and it can show multiple studs like supposedly there's a stud there why I don't know that's not 16 inches but this is my driveway and a carport garage and I get all sorts of weird readings 
with the stud center stud sensors like it says there's a huge stud here and then it kind of breaks it up and says that there's one and then there's a, it says there's a, a big stud so I'm not sure really what's in here which is kind of annoying when you're trying to uh, do things I, I know there's a stud there because you can see I've, I've mounted this hose reel up here for my little air compressor so anyways I'm gonna do some drilling and whatever and then I might come back and show you some more stuff and uh, I think I know what's going on in this location. I've tried making drilling a couple of holes to put screws in because I wanted to do this. And I hit what felt like a, a metal plate, which usually means that there's a uh, power going through the stud in that location. They oftentimes, uh, electricians put a, a piece of metal over where there's a, a power running. And I am getting power uh, indications in this location. And when I drill, try to put a screw in here, I hit just metal. So I moved it up here and it's fine. So that explains the weirdness that I'm I'm seeing in there okay so I know there's a stud there I know there's a stud there and I've confirmed it with the stud finder I've measured 16 inches there should be a stud here and there it is so I put a mark here there should be a mark there or a stud there And I'm off only by a little bit. So. Okay, so and there's definitely a stud there. All right, one more time.
Well, there you go. So, this thing works pretty well. Uh, thanks for watching.